So we're going to need to restock on the black and light oils. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. Yep. On those canvases from last week. Need to make sure we get those in. I think we're a good seller. Okay. Oh, oh. Hiya. Sorry, I'll just be one moment, promise. Okay, sorry, just bear with me a second. Yes, yeah, stock filling. <laughs> one of the more fun jobs. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so my dear, how can I help you today? You're looking to purchase a gift? Okay, fabulous. Um, so first of all, uh, what sort of budget are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's doable. So, um, the reason I ask is because our products range from obviously the sort of more budget end. Um, usually the kids' crafts are usually a little bit cheaper. And then you've got your high sort of end range for like your fine art, um, sort of your professional usage. Yeah, so we try and cater for sort of every level, whether you be a novice or a professional. Uh, so you mentioned it was a gift that you're looking to purchase today. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so is it for a special occasion? Okay. Oh, your friend's going off to uni. Oh, bless. Oh, you're such a good friend. Oh, that's cute. Oh, it's been so many years since I was at uni, but I'm sure she's going to have a whale of a time. Um, some of the best, most fun years of my life were spent at uni, so I hope she enjoys herself. And I'm guessing she's obviously doing some sort of creative course. Um, what is she studying? Fine art. That's what I studied. I'm sure it's probably changed many, many times over since I was there, but... They're probably still the basics, yeah. Okay. So, um, where is she studying? Wow, I'm impressed. She's obviously very smart cookie. Yeah. Oh no, I never would have got into that in a million years. No, definitely not. But that's a very good university. Yeah, good for her. Okay. So, um, in terms of gifts, um, we can do uh, gift vouchers, if you prefer. Uh, we do sort of different monetary amounts, so um, 10, 20, 50, 100, and then our max is 300. Yeah, a little bit out of your budget, that, that's fine. It's, it's usually out of most people's budgets. Um, you're talking sort of the more professional, high-end um, brackets up to the 300. We don't get many people asking for a 300 gift voucher. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what sort of range are we thinking of? Okay. No, that, that's fab. Uh, we can definitely work with that. Um, so, like I said, we can do a gift voucher for you today. Or, um, if you'd like, I can make some suggestions of products which might be useful to her. And we could put maybe a little art box together. That's always a nice gift for someone, you know, a bit more personalised. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, I've got time now. It's been a very quiet day today. So, what I will do is we'll have a little chat about the sorts of things that she might need. And then we can sort of discuss um, sort of uh, materials and price ranges and such. Does that sound good? Okay, let's, let's have a little look. So, uh, just a little note. Um, obviously, as I said, it's probably changed quite a bit since I was at uni. And she's probably got all of her basic equipment. But it can never hurt to have backups, especially if it's a 
material that you use a lot. So for example, if she was a painter, I would definitely suggest buying her at least another set of paints, um, depending on which she uses, watercolour, oil, you know, so on and so forth, um, because it's something that she's going to use a lot. So that's always one way to go. Or you could buy her something a bit more specialist. Um, so what sort of things does she like to do um, art-wise? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that sounds about right for a fine art course. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so if it's all right, I'll just make a few suggestions. Okay, so if I was to build maybe a little gift kit for somebody, um, let's have a look. I think I would start with, obviously she, I'm guessing she's got her basic pencil set. Okay, well we do do them individually, here as well as sets. So we have our Faber Castells, which are really good quality, high grade end um, pencils, and obviously they come in all different um, softness and hardness, so, mm -hmm. she's already got a kit of those, okay, that's absolutely fine, that's good to know, so, here's those, and then we also do individual um, graphite and um, sort of graphite tone sticks as well, yeah, okay, so if she ever needs a top up, send her my way, okay, all right. Moving on, let's have a little look. So you said she's really big into her watercolours and her painting. Okay, so something that we've had recently come in that's been a really big hit with customers is this beautiful range of uh, coloured pencils. Now, the difference with these is they're not just for sort of shading and colouring, these are actually watercolour pencils. Have you heard of that sort of thing before? Okay, so with these ones you get 24 in a set, so you've got a good range of colours there. Yeah, and of course because they're watercolour pencils, they are blendable. Yeah. So what you can do is you can sketch out um, your design, and then you can grab your little paintbrush, which comes with your little kit, and you can take some water and just go over those areas to sort of bleed it together. Mm -hmm. Yep, so much like a little picture on here, so you will notice the difference. Um, these are very good quality and very smooth, so I've used them myself. Um, one of the perks of working here, I get to test out all the new stuff. Okay, there's a little blurb on the back um, which kind of tells you roughly how they work as well. Um, but I'll just uh, read it out to you, okay? So these ones are watercolour pencils with ABS, a white protective coating that reinforces the lead core and increases brake resistance, which is very important. You don't want to um, be in the middle of sketching or trying to do some intricate work in your pencil breaks, that's, that's the worst, so very very nice. Pencils made of certified wood from sustainably managed forests, okay? So it does have a little safety warning, uh, nobody under three years of age should be using these, but I'm guessing your friend is much older than that, so it should be absolutely fine, but did you want to take a little look? So what are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Yes, they're a really good brand um, and they're actually reasonably priced for what they are. Um, in the past I have used um, Dana Rowney, uh, Faber Castell, they're really good as well, uh, just like the pencils that I showed you. Um, but Statler are a German company. Um, that produce really high quality products at reasonable prices, so these are cheaper than your sort of more high-end art pencils. Mm -hmm. So what are we thinking? Are we thinking this is a good idea to put in? Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'll just pop um, 
the items that we decide to go in to the side today and then I'll put my little gift back for you, okay? Alright, so I'll just move these out of the way. Okay. Now, something that um, I thought would be very good for your friend actually. Okay, so let's pick out the watercolour one. So this is my Faber-Castell again. And this is a individual pencil colour because it is a skin tone colour. Mm -hmm. So especially if she's doing portrait work, um, you know, sort of working with the human body, um, sort of, what am I thinking? Maybe like a life model, something like that for one of her classes. Um, this would be an invaluable tool to have in her set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most um, colouring sets don't have a specific skin tone colours. Yeah, there are sets um, from certain brands that do just purely skin tone colours, so they range from light to dark, you know, everything in between. Um, but this one is a watercolour. Mm -hmm. So again, like our set here, this is a completely blendable watercolour skin tone. So, for those flawless portraits, I would definitely recommend this one. Okay, so I'll just pop that over there. So this one again is a skin tone colour, um, but this one is um, a just regular sort of um, shading pencil, which I'm probably guessing she's already got in her shade kit. Okay, so if she ever does need another one, <laughs> she knows where to come. Okay. something else I thought would be invaluable and she might need lots of if she does go through them as quick as I did. Um, so here are a couple of different erasers, okay? So this one by Stadler is quite a hard, quite a firm um, eraser. Mm -hmm. This is great for um, just pure sort of pencil work. Yeah, it's very hard wearing. Um, the only trouble with these ones is they do tend to obviously smudge a little bit if you don't clean them properly. So always make sure they're nice and clean before you use them. Mm -hmm. And then something that I couldn't do without when I was at uni was a putty rubber. Mm -hmm. So these are a lot softer in uh, texture. So very very squishy and they're very good especially um, with obviously pencil work um, charcoal that sort of thing they actually are very heavy duty considering how soft they are so strong um, but delicate and you can even use these on mild um, sort of pencil coloring work as well if you need to um, lighten an area or erase a certain bit. So um, it's up to you which one you want to go with. Um, I would recommend both um, for different things, but if I had to choose, this would probably be my favourite. So it's completely up to you. You want to go with both? That's absolutely fine. That will give you the best of, of both worlds then, so she's nice and covered in that respect. Okay. So what else are we going to need? So I'm guessing she's got um, some paint sets. Okay, some of the bigger, chunky ones. Okay, and does she use oils, watercolours, acrylics, uh, gouache? A bit of a mixture. Watercolours and acrylics. Okay, so we've covered the watercolour side with the pencils. So what I would suggest is an acrylic set. Mm -hmm. So, Dale and Ami have um, brought out these sets called Simply, and they are really uh, cost effective, just a nice little set to get people started. So, they come in acrylic, oils, uh, gouache, and watercolours. Mm -hmm. 
So if um, down the line she wanted to get some watercolour paints as well as have the pencils, they do do a set in each of these. Okay, so I picked up the acrylic ones just to give her a bit more of a mix because um, I don't know if you know, acrylic paints are typically a lot thicker in consistency than watercolours. Yeah, so they're a good all-round craft paint. And because they have a thick texture, they're good for covering surfaces. So if she was doing maybe some modelling work, she could use them with that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And maybe a varnish over the top, but she probably knows all that. Okay, so this one has a 12 in there. Mm -hmm. Now this set doesn't come with any brushes, um, but it is a good range of colours. So let's just you here, this is the range of colours that we're looking at, okay? Yep, so you've got your basic red, blue and uh, yellow, so you could mix these to make your individual colours, but they do give you the option of having some nice extras in there, okay? So what are we feeling about this? Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. The little goes a long, long way, so you will be getting your money's worth with these ones. Okay, fabulous. Just put those over there. So back to our sort of more drawing side. Does she have some uh, coloured pastels? Okay, she's got colour and just plain black. Okay, that's fine. Just trying to cover all the bases here. So we do have a selection of um, glitters and other sort of craft projects. Is she into sort of mixed crafts? No, just mainly the painting and drawing. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. So, this was something that um, came in on our last delivery that I was very excited about because I love a good quality paintbrush. So, to go with the acrylic paints and obviously any other paints that she's currently using. A kit of paintbrushes is a valuable asset. Mm -hmm. So these ones here are really special in that you can use them with different types of paint. Yeah, so typically for example if you're only using watercolours you would have watercolour brushes if you use purely oils, normally you'd have oil brushes. Um, they're usually made from different fibres. Mm -hmm. And that's why you get sort of different textures. They work differently because of the thickness of the paint. All sorts of things I'm not going to uh, bore you with just now. <laughs> oh, I, I know it's a lot to take in, I do apologise. Um, but just to give you a rough idea. Okay, so this beautiful set here. Yeah. A lot of different brushes. So you've got your, your filbert, your angled brushes, your flat brushes, but she'll know which ones that she uses on a daily basis. Okay. Would you like to see a few of them? Yep, I can do that. So let's take this guy here. This is your angle brush. Very good, sturdy handles. Mm -hmm. And let me just put that out for you. So we've got very soft bristles, nice and flexible. Okay. These are really good quality. So these are a little your side um, just because there is quite a lot of them in a set and with paint brushes you generally get what you pay for mm -hmm. yep so you could go down the cheaper route um, but they're more likely to break um, usually if you buy cheaper brushes the fibers will fray out and then they end up over your artwork which I do not recommend mm -hmm. Definitely, so I would purchase something like this um, for my own artwork as well. Yeah, 
when it comes to your craft, um, you want to make sure you're getting the best. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just pop this little guy back in here. And so we go from largest all the way down to the really fine brushes. So let's just it comes with this really nice handy carry case mm -hmm. okay. yeah. so a really beautiful kit overall so oh, what are we thinking about this one mm -hmm. yeah definitely uh, we do sell the brushes individually but um, as I said it would be a really nice set to give to your friend just because of the variety that's there. Mm -hmm. Yep, and she can always um, add more. They do sell the brushes individually, so we could always, if she did come in and want another angled brush, but maybe a different size, we can always do that. Okay, so your fabulous brushes will go with your paints. Okay, so I'm just going to write down the model numbers there. next item is a bit of a personal preference so I completely understand if you don't want to take these away today but let's just get a few of them out so these are called mechanical pencils okay now with these ones the reason they're called mechanical is because of the mechanism on top so you simply click and your little lead will come out the bottom there, okay? Yep, like that. I get a lot of uh, students who do architecture, um, even electricians who have to draw up um, circuit boards, things that require really detailed work with a very fine nib. Mm -hmm. So a lot of illustrators also use these as well to get the delicate shading they need and fine lines as well. So a lot of line artists would use these. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just again, just click them. Okay. So these ones, um, obviously you don't sharpen them. <laughs> you definitely don't sharpen them. They have their plastic casing much like a ballpoint pen, but the lead is just encased just inside like that. So this is something that actually I use um, when I'm doing my drawing. Um, I just find them really nice, lightweight, a good balance, and I can get um, deeper shading and very light fine lines um, if needed. But it just depends on her style and she might find um, she wants something a bit more traditional, a bit more weighty. Mm -hmm. So with these, um, as I said, because they have the leads inside, they can actually be refilled. Mm -hmm. 
So with these you would take your little stopper off here and you would put your lead into the little insert in there. So for these ones we do little refills. Mm -hmm. So yeah, super easy to look after. Again, you can buy these in sets, all individually. And I know that you said she's got um, a sort of standard pencil set, but do you know if she's got any of these at all? No? Okay, do you think it'd be something that she would be interested in? Not too sure. Okay, well that's fine. Um, at least, you know, I've demonstrated them to you and you know um, what they look like. So she's probably aware of these and again, as I said, it is just personal preference. So if she wants to come in and grab some, we do stock them here, okay? Alright, no worries. Just pop those back there. Okay. So is there anything else um, that I can get for you today? Yeah, is there anything that takes your fancy or you think she might um, sort of like to have in her kit? Yeah? Mm hmm Okay, yeah. Uh, so, I've just got a basic little pencil sharpener here, just a nice metal one. Will, will that? Yeah, that works. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'll just add that to your list. acrylic set does have a black and a white paint. Yeah, I thought so. The black and white in most of my paints ends up being the thing that I use first, so I'm not surprised that um, that happens to her too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I do have some larger um, sort of paint pots, so the graduate paints are quite chunky. Um, these are the acrylics mm -hmm. and then we've got the abstract range um, which come in these little sort of squeezy bags mm -hmm. so unfortunately um, we are out of stock of uh, the black of this one okay did you want to take the white yeah okay well we'll leave it for now then in that case um, what I can do is um, when I take your uh, details um, for your um, package what I can do is um, I can basically send you an email to say when they're back in stock if you like or a text whichever is more convenient email okay so if that's all the items that we're looking to buy today Okay, no worries. In that case, can I just uh, quickly note down some of your details? Okay, so can I have your first and last name? Okey yep. And a contact number, just in case. Okay. Yeah, it's just in case we need to give you a phone call about anything, but that's fine. And then a email address that you want to be contacted on uh, about any stock that comes in. Okay. Mm -hmm. No worries. Okay. Yes, that's just for the black and white paints. Okay, and did you want those in the acrylic? Yep, okay, no worries. Yeah, we've got plenty of time um, before friend is going off to uni so that's fine we'll we'll be able to get those in stock and that's fine okay all right my lovely so I'll just grab a little baggie and we can put this all together okay so let's just pop that there okay let's see do we think it's gonna fit in that one I think I might give you the red one Just pop these in. Okay, so you've got your book. 
brushes. Paints, your eraser and sharpener, your skin tone watercolour pencil, and the 24 watercolour set with paintbrush. Okay. Alright, my dear, so that is all in there for you. So if you want to take this up to the uh, till area and uh, tell them that Sarah um, put this together for you, they'll be able to check you out, okay? Right, there you go. Okay. Fabulous. So, my lovely, if there's anything else I can get you at all? Good. All right. Well, I hope your friend really enjoys those. I'm sure she'll love them. Yeah. Okay. Well, um the best and um, yeah you'll have to come back in and, and let me know what she thinks mm -hmm. definitely send her my way if she needs anything okay my love all right well you have a really nice day and um, I will probably see you around all right bye bye for now then Holly, could you get me the stop list, please? 